Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Divine X back with another video, another update. Today is November 25th, 2024, and everything's been grand, man. At the same time, it's been a, a trial and tribulations every day, obstacles, whatever you call it, just a lot of a lot of um obstacles in my way, man. I'm trying to still propel through this situation I'm in. It ain't nothing that serious to me because I've been homeless or whatever before. So with that being said, if you're watching this video, it's not about that. It's about what's coming uh, to America. We, we've been so distracted with everything, politics, materialistic things that we are still just like not worrying about what's going on right now with these, like in the world, like we got people ready to nuke, ready to nuke us. We got Russia ready to nuke us. We got USA, which is us holding, uh, helping Ukraine, giving them nukes or bombs to, to drop on Russia to start a whole World War Three. And, the, and at the same time, we had the Mike Tyson fight. We had, uh, we got all these holidays coming up. And I feel like something ain't right about this because first we had the Mike Tyson fight and he was out there with his ass cheeks out. <laughs> Dude had his cheeks out. But nevertheless, I, I cut the move. I cut the whole. I cut. I cut it all off when I seen that. I'm like, this is crazy. This is this fight, and I knew the fight wasn't gonna be what I expected it to be. Like Mike Tyson going crazy. Once I see Mike Tyson hitting like a little, like it felt like Mike Tyson. Like it's no way Mike Tyson could punch hard, but then he's hitting like he not punching hard in the, in a real boxing fight. Like so, I felt like it was rigged. So I went to sleep after I seen that, but. Fast forward, we about to get into a whole a whole World War Three situation right before Trump gets into the presidency. And it's kind of mind boggling to me that we always we still not worrying about this. We too busy worrying about we still worrying about how we gonna pay our rent. We still worrying about what we gonna get for our kids for the holidays? We still worrying about why so and so left us. Um, for this video is for the people that actually understand, like, what's going on. Like, what's really going on is that we're being distracted. We we being played like puppets. They tell us to go over there, and then we look over there, and the next thing you know, behind our backs, we getting we getting. We just getting distracted. A bunch of disinformation that we should just start literally not worrying about none of these holidays, not worrying about none of your past relationships, not worrying about nothing but yourself and your family. Like, if you're not worrying about yourself, if you got family, if you're not worrying about your family and how y'all gonna overcome what's about, to, what's about to happen, what's about to blow up right in our face, like, I don't understand what y'all doing. I get it. We got to pay rent. I mean, I get it. You got got that mortgage. I get it. You want to have the best for your kids to uh, to be happy. The thing is, we too busy worrying about all these emotions instead of worrying about peace. World peace at that. This message is to everybody that know, like, that's actually thinking about what's going on. And to the people that don't know what's going on, I'm telling you right now, you've been disinformed. You've been placated. You've been beguiled. You need to start buckling down and worrying about yourself and your family and how y'all gonna overcome what's to come in this world. Cause come in 2025, we might not be here due to Ukraine, us helping Ukraine we might start a whole World War Three, And Russia is nothing to play with. As I see Putin, he's really not nothing to play with. Um, I feel like 
us being told America was like one of the best countries is crazy because like don't get me wrong, we do get our benefits over here, but some it's just a lot of racism going on out here. In 2024, that's crazy. Uh, a lot of uh, discrimination just on every fucking thing. Like, everybody, like, if you're not, if you're not of them, you're going to get discriminated on. Yeah, because you got a lighter skin, you might get leeway. But for my type of people, we get discriminated on all the time when it comes to jobs, credit, loans, grants, like, it's amazing to have this type of skin or this type of pigment, but at the same time, they make it feel like you ain't shit with this type of pigment. Um, with that being said, uh, gracefully, everybody's staying positive, uh, getting to know their self within, uh, just being, just just stay positive, y'all. Just uh, start Start doing, like I said, reading more, going within self, meditating. Also, um, don't bring everybody into your circle. Um, at this type, at these points of times, you never know who is the devil and who's not. Like, like they say, the devil come in disguises, all shapes and forms, and you know, and it might be your friend, it might be your mother, it might be a. a just a long term, like a relationship that you had that want to come back into your life. Don't let nobody in, man. No matter what. Um, protect your energy. And stay, and stay, like, stay mindful that the world might end as what we know it today. Um, which probably, I don't even know if it would be a bad thing or a good thing, but I know it would be a bad thing for, like, people unalive like stuff like that and people losing everything but other than that y'all this is just a new update with me just telling y'all to stay focused and worry about you and your family don't worry about none of these social medias none of these uh news channels yeah we we watch the news but we don't watch it to the point that we get fear mongled to thinking like oh let's go buy all this tissue and the next thing you know ain't nothing happened like don't let them distract you for what, what what's really going on. What's really going on is that the world might be ending as we know it. Not saying that everybody's going to die, but saying it's going to be a lot of casualties of war. And right now, you should be finding out and planning out and sitting down with your family and seeing how y'all could overcome what's about to happen. Guarantee you might not be able to because nobody's a billionaire that I know, like, we all in the same boat, so that's why I always used to say we should just consolidate with each other, no matter what kind of race, what ethnicity, we all are in the same boat, and the 1% is the only uh, percent that's actually going to survive something like this if, if it really came to the whole world, and they nuked us all right now. Only people with them under that could afford them bunkers could survive right now. So if you looking at your loved one right now, make sure you give them a kiss. Uh, make sure you tell them that you love them. Because soon enough, bro, everybody might not be here. Most people. And unfortunately, I'm going through this situation that I'm going through right now. Um... At this type of time, and it's crazy. It's kind of a like not a wake up call, but because I already knew that this could happen. But it's kind of like something that a divulging thing, like something, something that just basically just woke, like put a light bulb in my head. Like it wasn't nothing. It wasn't even about. It wasn't even about me having to pay rent or anything. It was pretty much if. If I could just like have family, like right now, there's nothing, there's nothing that I could turn to and be like, like I love you too. Like so, if you still have that, make sure that you actually take advantage of that and tell your loved ones and tell your your daughter, your your son, your grandmother, whoever you 
love with, go call them on the phone and say that you love them and just hope for the best because right now it's out of our hands. And with that being said, it's your boy Divine Next. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. And what I say, keep your head up, poke your chest out, and handle it.